Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive working on a 2021 Dodge Ram 1500 57 liter Hemi. This car just has been repaired. We went through all the fuses. We made sure everything is taken care of. But the thing of it is you cannot clear any codes. You could read the codes through OBD2, which is located right here. This is where your OBD2 connector located. So we're able to read all the codes, but you cannot clear anything without this Chrysler 12 plus eight connector. So without this guy, you cannot clear any trouble codes. So the module located right behind this panel right here, right behind this panel, there's a module, the 12 plus eight connector module. It's right underneath there. And I'll show you that in just a second. So in order for us to clear any kind of codes, like check engine, airbag, uh, traction control, ABS, you name it, we need this. This connector, you can pick it up on Amazon for approximately 20 bucks, and I'll post the description below. This is for Autel. I mean, it would work for other, um, for launch and for other scan tools, but like I said, I'll post a link. I picked this up for, uh, for about 20 bucks. Uh, 20 bucks with prime shipping. It was delivered to me the next day. So this is where we're gonna plug these guys in, in this Dodge. So if you look right underneath the dash, I'm gonna get my light onto this module. Okay, so you're, let me, give me one second. All right, everybody, so this is the module right here. Okay, this is the 12 plus eight Chrysler module and then you have two connectors what you got to do you got to go ahead and unplug those guys just like so and you can pull these wires out there you go you see that so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug my connectors in and I'm gonna have to pause for a second connect them and show you what it looks like when it's connected all right so when you're connected to these connectors it should look something like this and now we can connect our OBD2 from our Autel or launch or whatever scan tool you have you can connect this guy together same thing I'm only having one hand so I gotta pause it again all right, so as you can see, my Chrysler 12 plus eight plugged in into the wiring and underneath the dash. My OBD2 is plugged in and that, this talks with my scan tool right here. So now I'm able to go ahead and clear some codes. Because as I said before, you cannot clear anything. I have a check engine light, which the problem has been taken care of. The only thing we gotta do is just clear that light. And also I'm gonna go through the system and clear any other codes that might be in the system before we put this thing back on the road. So I'm gonna turn my ignition on. So now I'll be able to go ahead and clear all the lights. And my biggest problem was that check engine light. I couldn't clear it even though I took care of the problem. I forgot to plug something in and it threw a check engine code. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to Dodge. I don't know why Chrysler did that. Automatic selection, read. Why they did that, it's, it's a very stupid thing in my opinion. On some, uh, I think on chargers, you gotta remove the radio and the modules behind the radio to plug in this 12 plus eight connector. I don't think it was a smart thing. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a health report. I'll scan all the systems and clear all the codes because there's a lot of uh, phony codes in there. You know, when the battery was low and the car was wrecked so there was a whole bunch of connectors that were unplugged. And then as we were fixing the car, you know, we would have to move the car from the body shop outside and from outside back inside. So there's a lot of codes that have been stored 
in the system which don't mean anything but if you're let's say you replaced all your airbags let's say your airbags deployed and you replaced all the seat belts and airbags and your airbag light is on you would not be able to clear it without this connector or if your check engine light you would not be able to clear it you could read all the codes through obd2 if you just plug in your scan tool in an obd2 you'll be able to read them but you wouldn't be able to clear any of the codes so that is the reason not sure what's the reason why chrysler did that I, in my opinion they did that just so the dealer could make some extra money all right we're gonna do auto scan now it's gonna scan all the systems and we will delete all the codes and then we'll drive the truck again we'll see make sure everything checks out make sure there's no codes but you can see there's tons and tons of codes but these codes have to be cleared with this 12 plus 8 connector without it we're in trouble Okay, as you can see, it's 100%, so it scanned all the systems. Now we're going to do quick erase, and it's going to clear all the codes. And we're going to go ahead and unplug our 12 plus 8 connector, plug the original two connectors back into the module, and we'll we'll see we'll drive the truck for a couple of days and we'll see what happens but that's the only way to do it on these newer cars all right as you can see cleared all the codes 100 percent there's no more fault codes in the systems all the systems are clear so right now i'm going to go ahead and put everything back and start the truck and uh we'll show you there will be no more check engine light on the dash all right, everybody, so now we're gonna test it out. Make sure there's no check engine light on dash. And as you can see, the check engine light has been cleared. The only light is on that, it's, that I'm not buckled up, which is okay. That's it for this video. This was George with Melnix Automotive. Thank you for watching.